So welcome back. Today we're going to be trying out the new, well at least it's new to me, the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Shadow Primer. And you can find this at your local Sephora or through Milk Makeup's website in case you're interested in purchasing this online. You do receive 0.29 fluid ounces. It does run for $24. And this is basically supposed to give us a natural finish. You can easily apply this on and blend it out with your finger. It's supposed to hold in and lock in at the pigmentation of your eyeshadow to prolong it from fading or smudging throughout the day. And today we're going to be testing this out. I'm going to apply this on on one side of my face or on one eye and we're going to go ahead and see, you know, how it blends out. What is the texture like? Does it actually, you know, is there a noticeable difference on our eyeshadow, the blendability of our pigmentation? And we're just going to see what it's all about. Keep in mind, this is vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. And I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Everything will be linked down below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let's jump on in and finish getting ready. In the last clip, you obviously saw you know, the eyeshadow primer in its box. So <laughs> let me show you how it actually looks. And this is basically it. I really like the packaging to it. It's really colorful. My favorite color is green. I love that it's like holographic. And I do like the size, at least that is like tall and skinny. It does have a DOFA applicator, which I personally love a DOFA applicator just because it's nice and spongy. It's gonna pick up enough product. As a 4A scent, you guys, I don't smelly scent to it, which I personally like. I don't feel like everything needs to be scented. As for the consistency or pigmentation to it, there is no pigmentation to it actually applies on really clear it does have like a really like a silicone kind of texture to it that it just blends in really nicely it does feel somewhat hydrating wherever i apply this eyeshadow primer on like in the back of my hand i can definitely feel the difference which i personally like and it does dry down really easily so i'm really interested to use this eyeshadow primer and just see what it really is all about now on their website it does mention that it does have hyaluronic acid and hemp divert cannabis seed extract in the formula so it's supposed to boost hydration it also has blue agave extract to lock in our makeup to hold everything into place and niacinamide vitamin b3 and aloe vera water and basically to add moisture and antioxidants to you know antioxidant benefits to our skin so i personally really love that i'm not gonna waste any more time because I feel like I am <laughs> rambling but I just wanted to give you guys as much information about this product in case you guys you know didn't know now, on their website it does give you instructions on how they would suggest you to apply on at this product which I'm going to follow for today's video it does suggest for you to apply it on and blend it out using your finger wait a second for it to dry down completely and then go in with your eyeshadow you know and start working on your eyes so that is what I'm going to do for today I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this on the right side of my eye. I'm gonna go in it with my finger really carefully and blend everything out as evenly as as I can. It's about about 10 minutes that I applied on this eyeshadow primer. I wanna give it enough time for it to dry it down and just just to see what it was all about. But so far I do notice a difference on the texture on my eyes. I'm gonna close my eyes really quickly so you can get an up close view of how my eyes are currently looking. Keep in mind on the right side, I applied on the eyeshadow primer and on the left, I don't have anything on. All I applied on was kind of like a little bit of foundation that I had left over on my sponge to just kind of blend everything out. But I didn't set anything into place at all on my eyes. I did notice that after waiting for about 10 minutes, the eyeshadow primer did slightly crease, but you can easily go in with your finger and pat and blend everything out. So, so far, I really love that. I hope it shows up on camera, but there is like a slight creasing going on in this general area. Obviously, they haven't set anything to place, so I'm hoping once we set everything to place, there'll be no creasing. So we're going to move on to our eyes, and I'm going to go into the ColourPop Boudoir Noir Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to use a fluffy shadow brush, and we're going to go into Deja Vu, this really pretty creamy shadow, like a cream kind of eyeshadow, and we're going to apply on eyeshadow on both of our eyes. I'm going to use two different brushes because I don't want to transfer the eyeshadow from one lid to the other. I want it to be like a fair and game and see if there's actually a difference on using one method or the other. The next eyeshadow palette that I'm going to jump into, it is the KVD Shade and Light eyeshadow palette and I think it's called the Glam Rock eyeshadow palette. It basically looks like this. It was on sale at, so at Ulta for $12 so I was like, you know, you can't pass up a good sale. So I figured let's try this out. I love that beautiful like deep blue 
feel like it is so pretty. And then I'm gonna go in with the Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this really pretty, like it has like a pinky undertone eyeshadow. And I'm gonna use this as a transition shade. And it looks like it's gonna be really, really light, but it actually is a lot more pigmented. I will say that for all of these eyeshadows, they are a lot more pigmented than what they look like on in person for some reason. So I'm just gonna go in with this blending brush and I'm just gonna go and apply it within the crease of my lid doing circular motions. I wanna mention that for today's look, I do want it to be a really pretty soft everyday type of eyeshadow look. I just feel like it's like my go-to and I just feel like most people here on my channel, that's what they're looking for. You know, something soft, natural, but still really pretty that stands out in its own way. I just finished applying on my crease shade, obviously. You know, on the other side of my eye, we're gonna move on to our third color that we're gonna layer on and create a look with. And basically, I wanna give you an up close clip of how my eyes are currently looking so you guys can see a side by side comparison, basically like a progression of the eye look so you can slowly see, you know, the difference of how my eyes are currently looking. But so far, I haven't noticed any creasing. I do notice that on the right side of my eye, we'll see once I'm editing this video, but on the right side, I feel like the pigmentation to the eyeshadow is a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more vibrant than on the left. But so far, it's blending really nicely both sides, and so far, so good. So we're gonna go back into our KVD eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna pick up a different brush. You know, still a blending brush, but we're just gonna pick up a different brush for today's video, and we're gonna go in, and I think it's called Solo, and it is right over here. It's this really pretty, like, terracotta kind of brick red eyeshadow. And I'm just going to go in with my BH Cosmetics blending brush. And then just in the corner of the eye, we're just going to go ahead and lightly apply on it this eyeshadow, connecting it to the corner of our eye. And then just blending it in to the crease as well. And we're just going to go ahead and layer on as much as we feel comfortable. I will say when it comes to these eyeshadows, there is a good amount of fallout that I have noticed, but so far they're really pigmented and they blend really nicely. So that is the only downside, but so far I personally really, really like it. Now I'm gonna do the same on the other side and I'm gonna use this Luxie 237 blending brush. It's a little bit more fluffy, not as dense, but I feel like this will work just the same. So I'm gonna dip my brush into this palette, pick up a little bit of Solo, and then do the same thing, apply it on close to the lash line area, and then just blending it into the corner of the eye, into the crease, and then just basically packing it on until I feel like it achieves, you know, a similar look to the other side of my eye. So far, I feel like everything is looking really, really good. I'm gonna go in with a smaller, like detailed brush, and this is not as tiny as maybe it could be, but I'm gonna go in with this brush and I'm gonna go back into the Boudoir Noir eyeshadow palette, back into Deja Vu, pick up a little bit of Deja Vu and apply it, reapply this eyeshadow in the corner of the eye and slightly within the crease of the lid, just to give a little bit more brightness to the lid. And so far, it is blending really, really nicely. As you can tell, there is no creasing at all on the side that we've applied on this eyeshadow primer, which is a big plus. And so I'm just gonna go in and apply that on. And then back into the brush that we were using earlier, I'm gonna go in and blend out the edges to blend everything out really nicely and together. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just to complete the look, we're gonna go ahead and smudge the bottom lash line, because you guys already know here my channel, it's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back into the KVD eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna go in with this little tiny, like, treble size It Cosmetics brush. And this is basically like a shadow brush, but girl, I use this to smudge and smoke out the bottom lash line. I'm gonna go into, what is it called, Legend. It's this really pretty eyeshadow that we used earlier to, and we use it basically as a transition shade within the crease of the lid. And I'm just gonna apply this and pack it on the lower lash line, connecting it to the corner of the eye. 
And then I'm gonna go into Solo, that really pretty like terracotta brick eyeshadow and do the same thing using the same brush. Apply a little bit of that on the lower lash line. All right, you guys, I have a finish getting ready. This is a basically, this is it. This is the look that I've created for today. Something really simple, but really pretty and effortless all at the same time. But let me give you an up close clip of how my eyeshadow is currently looking. Comment down below on your thoughts. What do you guys think? Do you notice a difference from one side to the other? Keep in mind on the right side is where I've applied on this eyeshadow primer. To be really honest, you guys, at $24, I do find it to be pretty expensive. There are so many really great affordable eyeshadow primers that I have tried. One of my favorite is the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eyeshadow Primer, and that runs for $12. But so far, uh, just by the first impressions of this, I'm really excited. I really like it. I can't wait to continue testing this out. I do love the packaging. I love that it grabs your attention. It's my favorite color, green. I love that it's holographic. I love the doe foot applicator and that there isn't a scent to it as well. And it does dry down fairly quickly and it does have like a nice smoothing texture, drain texture to it that I personally find really different than anything that I have tried. I have tried other eyeshadow primers that are supposed to be really hydrating with a natural natural finish but they always end up failing for me and even like I mentioned you guys before earlier when I've applied this on it does crease until you set it into place and so far my eyeshadow hasn't creased at all after I've applied on eyeshadow so that says a lot so no creasing no smudging so far and no fading of the pigmentation Personally, I feel like on the right side of my face, my eyeshadow looks just a little bit more crisp, a little bit more vibrant, and it just blended effortlessly on at my eyes, and I personally really love that. There hasn't been a weird texture or it's tackiness at all where I've applied on this eyeshadow primer. So, so far, so good. Stay tuned for my monthly Fave and Fails video. I'll continue testing this out and give you guys more of an update on if I still really like this eyeshadow primer, if I notice a difference after using it, you know, for some time. But so far, personally, like at $24, I do find it to be a little high, to be really honest. But if you don't have to use a lot of product and a little bit of product goes a long way and it gives you a really nice result, then I kind of feel like it's worth it, but I love that it applies on clear and it's really easy to apply on. You can use your fingers. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Everything will be linked down below. If you have any video suggestions, as always, comment down below. Let a girl know is looking for video ideas. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all in my next video. I love you all so, so much. Bye.